Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Scrabby Saturday. Woohoo! Couple things before we get started on this big old pile of scraps. Um, first, let's say hi and hugs. And hi and hugs today go to Penny, Veronica, Donita, and Ginger. Thank you so much for watching and your sweet comments. Um, from yesterday's video, I kept going a little bit and I finished four more pieces. I think this will become a tuck spot, you know, just on the corner of a page. And maybe this one too. I don't know. And possibly this one. And then th these two were actually like that. And then this one I finished with one of the little shabby chic um, embellishments from uh, Timeless Crochet for You on Etsy. So those got finished. So I'm just going to pop those over there. And then I wanted to kind of do a little viewer request right at the beginning here. Um, I had a couple of people ask me, how do you, this was after the, the journal that I received was damaged in the mail. They said, how do you mail your journals? So um, I thought I would show you, this is the Mixed Media Minnesota, the ring journal. So it's wrapped a little bit differently. Um, my normal journals like, like this one, hang on, like this one, I usually wrap them in tissue paper and, you know, kind of do a little foo-foo wrapping on them. And then I wrap them in bubble wrap. Now this ring one, what I did was I put the big bubble wrap around the rings. Then in, and then in bubble wrap. And then I use these plastic mailers. Um, these are, they're tough and they're, waterproof and so what I will do is I will put this in here and then um, and then I will pull this up and then I actually tighten this side over too so it's a nice tight little package and so far I have not had any um, knock on wood I'm looking for some wood knock on wood knock on wood <laughs> have not had any problems so this will be heading off to Penny soon. Penny, tomorrow it'll go in the mail. Okay, which you'll have it by the time this airs. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're going to work with coffee dyed scraps. This is just out of control. And so I need to do something with it. So first thing I thought we would do is I am going to pull out... Well, that one's not very big, is it? Pull out some of these wider pieces. Like so. Here's some. There's a short one, but that's okay. And here's some more. because they make great little notebooks. Let's see, I've got, I've got these strips too, which are, oh, here's some big ones. Oh, look at this, score. Look at that. I mean, seriously, I need to do something with these. Okay, and so then there's those. Okay, I think I got most of the big ones. Looks like. Most of the big ones. Okay, we'll come back and work with some of these smaller strips as we go. Okay, but these make awesome little um, tablets. And so that is what we are going to do. And I'm going to use up some of my, maybe I'll use some scrap of paper. Um, because I don't have any of those scraps. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I think I should be able to find some in there that will work. Yeah, these are all 
other kind of strips. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's make some things up. So I usually only do like six pieces of paper or three piece, three of these pieces of paper folded. So they're six. Otherwise, they get a little bulky, I feel like. So, um, gosh, we've got colors and everything, don't we? So let's do, I'm going to do these little green pages. I'm going to do some of these pink. I have several pinks. I have a green. I'm going to do another pink. Okay. And then I want just a regular coffee dyed paper. Okay. Obviously, we have many more we can make. But we'll start with these three. And I'll decide what I want on the outside as far as which paper when I look at what I'm going to put on the top. So I'm like, I'm looking for things about this size. This is great. Okay, so what I am going to do is put the pink on the top. And I'm going to actually kind of line those up in the middle. Just fold them. And then this little piece, I am going to cut off the width. Making another scrap. That's a cute scrap, though. That'd be cute on a um, cluster, right? Okay, I'm just going to fold that in half. Maybe use the bone folder. That's a real thick piece of cardstock. Okay, and then I am going to just put that over the top like that. I am going to grab my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and I'm going to put in three staples. One on each end, one on, and bada bing, bada boom, we've got a little notebook that will stick in our, um, that will stick into a journal somewhere along the line. Um, this is, this is cute. Maybe we'll do one that's, um, kind of neutral. I, I like this paper. There's a coffee dye, and... One of these coffee dye. Okay. Actually, where was that other one? I like this one. Maybe we'll do four in this one. And I think I'll put this in there. This is super thin, super thin paper. So I think I'll put this in the middle because it's kind of, or maybe that'll be the outside. That would be a cute outside, wouldn't it? We'll put the, the one that's kind of thin on the inside so it's well protected. <laughs> and, oh, I like that better. Okay, we'll put this on the inside and this on the outside. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for a video today. And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's Scrappy Saturday. And I knew I wanted to do coffee dyed because they are just way out of control. Let's bent. Bent. There we go. You know what? I think I'm going to give that a little bit of distress ink. I usually don't on these, but it's just rather a plain piece, so I will. Okay. Okay. 
just fun to stick in a little pocket and get a little extra journaling space, right? And I mean, you can decorate this more if you want to. My main thing is to get through these scraps. Okay, so let's find something pink again. Like, ooh, ooh, look at these. These are awesome. These are from, there's another one for another neutral. I think I'll do that one and have the pink on the front again. I do like that. It's kind of eye-catching having the pink on the front, I think. So another thing you can do is to, let's see, go like that, then kind of go like that. Just have them be kind of a little accordion type of thing. Not going to keep that. It's not that interesting. Not going to keep it. So I think I'll fold this right about there. So I guess you could say we're mass making, couldn't you? I haven't, I haven't really jumped onto that term, even though I feel like I do it. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's what, that's basically what we're doing. And then that's just a different, a little different look, right? Okay, one more with a. Um, Looking for a pretty piece. Ooh, if that's a pretty piece, it's not big enough though. <laughs> that's not gonna do. Oh, these are so pretty. Maybe we'll do one of those. Because this pink is a bit lighter. And these are not the same size. So one of the kind of waterfall ones would actually be kind of nice for this. This is going to be a little tight as far as cutting it or uh, folding it in half. You can score these two and that makes it a bit easier. But I'm doing okay with my fingers. Uh oh, out of staples. That's a problem <laughs> when that's what we're doing. Okay. Oh, there's some in there. They just didn't want to come out. Okay. Well, fine. Maybe if we put some more in, we'll be compelled to come out. I wonder if I can get another thingamajiggy in here. Oops. Okay. Alrighty then. Do that. Oops. Okay, set those over there. Alrighty, we need one in the middle on this one. I really honestly don't know how exciting this video is going to be, guys, but I'm going to feel good about it. <laughs> going to feel good. Now, these would be good with Christmas scraps. Let's do all four of these with Christmas scraps. I happen to have all my Christmas scraps because I'm doing the Don't Freak Out Before Christmas Challenge. We could do that. How about a coffee dyed coffee? 
coffee died coffee died <laughs> coffee died and then I've got a little like I've got a little um, graph paper here Should be fun this might be kind of fun and what else I don't have any red, which would be kind of fun. Maybe we'll put the skinny one and one more coffee dyed. Okay, let me grab my Christmas scraps here. We'll find something. Um, that one's perfect. Just gonna look for the right size, kind of similar. one one more that one okay I have to say I have gone down quite a bit in my scraps um doing the don't freak out before Christmas because that's what I'm using these are the smaller ones I have a little pile of bigger ones over there too but um but yeah oh sorry hitch hit the old uh filming arm with my watch maybe we'll maybe we'll do these because this one is a little bit long and Goodness sakes, you guys, I am shaky. What is up with me? Okay. Let's do stockings with this one. And I'll just put this in my um, uh, little basket that I'm putting all of my things I make. It's going to be interesting to see how Dee Dee handles the decorating part of everything. Because so far, we've just been making bases, you know. And so I think that'll be kind of interesting to see how she does that. Okay, this one I'm just going to go, just going to go plain old, plain old on. These little bits I'll put back in the in the small scrap bag. Ooh, it's gonna be fun to see how much we get done. Okay, those are so cute. And I think they're nice. I like it when I have a little notebook like that in one of my journals that I'm journaling in. I love that. Oh, that's cool. It's got lines. I think my friend Catherine might have given me that paper. cute okay I think I'm gonna not use this I think I'm gonna use this because I think it's gonna be the right size Go like that. 
yeah use it up use up those scraps and I'm gonna keep that because I'll show you in a minute I think I'm actually gonna do it okay right here look we made a cluster okay so those just this has to go back in the scrap bin okay there's that one all righty what else Okay, so let's let's play with these in um, in some other way just for fun too. Um, well, certainly these could be like little just little things to write, to stick in a pocket and write. Um, I'm going to clip the corners. And then we just need to put a little something there that it can kind of um, hook into. Uh, where are those? Those are here. I think I've got some of the... Um, And have some smaller stamps. That's cute. Do that. Just put a little something on to hold that um, flap down. Oh my goodness. Gooey. Okay, so I want to go just about to there. Now just a little piece to, once again, stick in a pocket. Um, another thing that might be fun is, same idea, ooh, look at how pretty that is this way. Oh, I like that. Um, what I was thinking, let's see if this piece that I'm looking at right here is big enough. It is. Okay. I am going to grab a tab punch here. And I'm going to get this part that's pink on the corner. Okay, one piece of scrap down. Okay, and then I was going to put it this way. Yeah. So I'm just going to glue it together. So first of all, and then just down here, put some glue and have that hold the little flap. Oh, that's cute. I actually could have cut that in half and used two, I suppose, or done two pieces, but that's okay. Um, This one's pretty wide. Let's 
do one more. Um, what I would like in there is, if I can find it here, I'm going to take a little piece of this, of this stuff. I can, so tiny. There we go. Well, probably be easier if I cut it. Maybe. These are so tiny to work with. <laughs> Do you ever feel like your your fingers are like giant? I'm feeling that right now. Okay, get in there. Just want a double knot, please. That's what I want. There we go. I think I got it. Gotta love eyelash trim. It gets everywhere, doesn't it? I'll be on my pants, too. And then I think I'll just glue on the bottom wings. I'm going to glue the middle, too that there okay just some little pieces to stick in pockets those are great okay um I wanted to do some tiny envelopes and we can use some of this paper too Oh, I found some more big ones. Look at me finding more. I really like this size strip too for making hinges. So I'm always glad that I have it, you know, for that. But um, let us make a couple. So these are the little... Um, tucks that I first saw. I don't know if she's the first one to do it, but um, Lori, Girl on the Ridge did these and um, let's see how big do I want that about right there. So I'm going to cut that about right here. These scissors, you know, I really do like the handles, but the I'm finding that they are hard to, sometimes to close. I might need to clean them or something, probably. So, okay, so we have this little envelope right here, right? I need to even this up a little bit. Okay. So that, and then... Take a smaller piece, a thinner piece, if you will, and we'll make a couple more. There's another one. So then these are then glued together 
I'll make one more. Glue together to make go about there. Okay, then I'm just going to glue, going to glue the flaps, and then I'm going to glue this flap, just glue it down. So obviously these are not so much for writing as they are for just uh, making a little embellishment. Okay, and so then, oh wait, I need that, okay. So then you kind of decide how you want them. You know, um, little here and there, wonkily. That's kind of fun. I do them all different ways. I mean, I never do two the same, I don't think. Probably won't even do this the same as I had it before. So, and then you can decorate them in whatever, whatever ways you want to with just maybe a little decoration or um, what I was wondering about is where's those itty bitties? There they are. Do one of these little flowers. And then you can just on this on the corner of your page, you can just glue down like this, this, and this, and then tuck something in there. Um, you know what else might be kind of fun is a like a stamp or something. This is catching my eye right over here. Oh, and you know what else would be fun is the tiny little. Um, uh, price tags from Crafty Cat. Maybe if they're tiny enough. I don't know if they're tiny enough. I mean, there are tiny ones. That's cute. But then I was thinking... I thought that was the five. The five is where the two is, and the two is where the five is. Whose stamp says is this? Yep, you can tell. But I was wondering. Okay. So to make a bunch of those little envelopes and make some of those is a fun idea. And um, you know you could you could stamp the whole things, stamp the all the paper. Okay, let's put these on.
have no idea. Didn't even look at my watch when I started this video. So no idea what time it is. So there's just a little, a little embellishment that can be a tuck spot. I have sat with strips and made tons of these envelopes while watching TV. It's kind of a nice way to, to do it. So fun, right? Okay, let me take a quick moment and double check where we're at. Okay, we have got about 25 minutes. Okay, just so I can kind of tell. Okay. So there's a couple of ideas. Um, the other thing that is kind of fun to do with these strips is, let's see, where's my example? Um, right here. Is, um, see these little clusters? These are just strips of coffee dyed paper that were stamped and torn and ready to do those with. So that's another idea. Um, I like for those, let me grab, grab a few of my stamps and show you the kinds I like to use for that. Um, let me see, like, like this one. It's nice and long. You know, it might be fun to make a long one of those. In general, I've made them just, oh, what am I doing? That is not gonna work. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, this is a 2000 Stampin' Up stamp. I'm sorry, all I have is old Stampin' Up. For the most part it's because I shop at garage sales you know look at how fun that is okay and then we can tear it off at the bottom and then tear it at the top could tear it on the sides too if we wanted to I guess I have plenty of room let's do it Just have to leave enough room to sew around it. Okay, so we want a piece of, we could either do paper or we could do fabric, whichever we, we wanted. I've made them both ways. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness, that, that came from somewhere. Um... Do I have some long ones in here? That would be appropriate or pretty. Oops, not quite big enough, but I love that. Look at how pretty that scrap is. Okay, um, I digress. I'm going to grab some fabric because I just have more of that right by me. Let's see. What do we like? About this one. something with these scissors I need to probably put some alcohol on them wipe off those blades okay so what we're doing is more more so this see with the fabric okay so I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have a long one 
getting way too much into decorating though. That's what I'm doing right now. Let's see. Do you think I'm gonna? there oh my gosh I swear I could I could really craft for days and days just out of my <laughs> scraps oh all the way down that with that and then I need something dangly from the bottom which would be this Only one of them though go there and then that can go down the side of a page but we need to sew around it I'm just going to do it quick off camera because I don't have any room for my sewing machine straight that's going to be since I was at a real awkward angle <laughs> but it'll be fine okay and then I am going to just glue that on with some fabric tack All right, so we did that. So that's another way to use up these little coffee dyed strips. It's like that. Okay. Um, let's, I, you know what I really want to do is I want to get this pile down. So I think I'm going to go back to, um, go back to doing some uh, pads. I mean, I hope you don't mind. This one, I had this pretty Stamperia paper, and that would be, that would make a nice uh, neutral one, wouldn't it? Ooh, look at how big that is. That's like a, that is big. That is like a um, eight and a half by 14 or something page. This one looks tall too. It is. We'll just do a couple different sizes in there. That's always kind of fun, too. Here's a little squatty one. Put that in the middle. Okay. I think this will be fine in half. This is more 
tag size. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so look at this pretty blue. There's another green. This is more of a spring green than a Christmas green. And how about we do pink with each one? And then a coffee dyed. Okay, so this blue, ooh, that doesn't go. <laughs> I was looking at this, but that doesn't, that's not going to do it. Oh, this could be fun. We could stamp something on there. Couldn't we? I'm going to go with the coffee dye on the... Let's make this one um, one of those kind of waterfall ones. Did I, did I just say I wanted... I think I did just say I wanted the coffee dot. Okay, Gail. Whatever. Fine enough. And then this, cut right there. And then okay. Okay, so I think. Cherish will fit right there perfectly. Yay. Yes. Okay. So we'll put that on. Cute. Fun. Okay. I really am intrigued by these two pieces of paper. I think they would be fun with the pink. And I love this on the outside. So we'll just put a piece of coffee dyed in there. Yeah, but the three pieces of paper really are um, really are a good thickness, and I love coming across these in my. Um, but but at the same time, I don't want to write in it, you know, for days and days at a time either. Ooh, wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah, it would. See, I used the tear ruler on that, so that gives it a little bit different look. And just a, just a smaller, you know, it's, it's just on copy paper. So, got a pile of scraps from yesterday sitting there. <laughs> Oh, isn't that going to be pretty? That is really pretty. I just had a thought of what would it look like if I did that. I like it. that cute with a little lace okay that's really fun it's kind of neat to just have a few things on your table and just be 
working with those and see what see what comes to you. I was just gonna look in that pile of paper again. Ooh, look at this one's really pretty too. I think I might just do another one of those because I have a little bit more lace too. So let's do it. I'm excited because over the last few days, <coughs> excuse me, we've made some progress at filling up the ephemera box a little bit. I was starting to get low on different things. So, okay. Does look like I think that's the right side. Oh yeah, that's really cute. Oh kind of like this side better. Okay. Another little one. Alright. We are cooking here. Kind of was liking this too. There's a little little spot o. This one is the exact right size already. Okay, we're just gonna put pink on the outside. <laughs> Change of plans when I find the just the right scrap. And things. Oh, I just need ever such a skosh off of that. More or less just to square it up. Such an easy way to make some ephemera and add, have little things to add to your journals. Wait till you see the pile we've got going over there. Okay. These green coffee dyed ones could use to be used up. How about we just use three of them? They're the right size. Ooh. And how about we put this butterfly on there? Yep. Makes the butterfly go down into the notepad, but that's okay. That is okay. Whoops. Still super cute. And of course, you can put trim on these or whatever you would want to. Make another one of those. Oftentimes, at, after cutting these off, I think these are cut off because um, of making traveler's notebooks. But oftentimes, I will um, um, make these little notebook things right after a project like that with what's left or, you know, or include those in the project, you know, include the just a tiny bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw these two little things away. I know she's getting crazy. 
Um, but uh, if you have little pieces from your cover or something, you can use those as this, and then you can use the pages that you've torn out, and it's it's good. There's a little little more neutral one. Always good. I'm gonna give that that too. Okay. Okay. Oh, these are the little strips. Let's see, what do I have left? I have a a green and a pink and a pink. And I was finding some pretty good pink scraps in here. Um, oh, there's a Christmas one. It needs to go in my other. <laughs> this one. That's okay. I think on this one I would put some trim on it. this that'd be cute there I think if I even up this side it'll fit just perfect and then I probably better be done because I would I would venture to guess we're getting close to time oops although I could do this all afternoon it's just fun and not a lot of thought, you know, you can just kind of zone out and zone out and decorate. I think I would like one of these little flowers on this too. Pink one. Yep. Isn't that cute? That is cute. Okay, let's see what time we have. Oh, yes, we're about there. So I want to get this big pile and show you guys. And I'm going to try and finish off some of those too. But show you guys the big pile of stuff that we did today. Okay, notebooks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I count that one? Do, do, do. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Um, oh, gosh. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen notepads. We made this. We made these three little extra paper tucks and we made the envelope tuck so a productive day i would say and i am going to continue on and um keep keep uh, making these the one other thing i wanted to mention though is you could sew across those two um i just wanted to get a bunch done so i did this but you can sew across them too maybe i'll do a few like that and then anything i do after these i will show you tomorrow Okay, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a grateful day and um, I hope you enjoyed Scrappy Saturday. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.